here. It says we are live with an excellent connection. All right. I like there excellent connections. Go. Now I just need to Come on, chat. Let's upload. Go. Got it. I pictures. need you. you can Why are you telling me this now? Sometimes they, they pop up with these little boxes. You're like, um, I already know this. Okay, so we are live. Good morning, friends. Up, oh, we have um, um, CYY says hello and Ray says hello. Hello. And, um, oh, Steph Nerd and, oh my gosh, everybody's here. Hello, I love the red panda. Hello, everybody. Hi, Steph from Malaysia. Wow, we went from zero to like a whole bunch of you. How are you guys this morning? Hello, whole bunch of you. Yeah, a whole bunch of you. How's everybody doing? This looks amazing. I was just drawing the apple. Oh, yay. Oh, good. That's great. This one, this um, is, this I love your drawing so much. Thank Marguerite you. Marguerite from British Columbia is here. Hey, Marguerite. It's Scott the Hobbit. Good morning, everybody. So, um, I... We went to the Nashville Zoo last Thursday, we did and we got to meet a rhinoceros oh. hornbill. We did. His name was Stanley. His name was Stanley. Oh my God, he's so cute. Hi, Stanley. Oh, Nixie is here. And the rhinoceros hornbill looks like that. It does indeed. Can you guys see that okay? Yes, we can. Okay. So, here's the cool thing. You guys want to see something really cool? Yes, they do. They want to see something really, really cool. Show them cool. Donna got, we got to play catch with the, look at this. He catches. You can catch. Look at, here's Donna. He's like a puppy. He was just, he's two and Stanley's a half. Stanley's like a puppy. He's two and a half. He's like a little toddler. He's like a little toddler puppy. Isn't that cool? He's so cool. So I got pencils done, but I didn't get to ink it and watercolor it. So I thought we would do that this morning yeah, if that's okay. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Oh my God, you guys. And this morning I started on my itinerary for my live, for my journaling live. Oh, that's great. I did while I was waiting. For my meeting. I already had a meeting this morning, you guys. Holy moly, let me tell you. It's, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like, Donna was meeting with a group in India. I was indeed. Yep. About they are online ten and a half, classes. Ten and a half hours ahead of us. Eleven. Eleven and a half hours ahead of us. Eleven so. and a half. I guess it's yeah. different than where I was. Yeah, poor guy. Bless his heart. He was he was stuck in traffic and trying to get Get where he was. Oh, sorry. Let me record. I forgot to. It's hit like record. a puppy with wings. It is indeed. So cute. Oh, uh, he looks like a pterodactyl, right? He does, right? Isn't that crazy? I think we all saw the person talking about how they're gonna steal Donna. Oh my God, so funny. You guys are funny. He was just so much fun. I was like, I'm gonna play with you. I want. And then he flew over my head, and I got a little nervous. Yeah, he kind of. He literally. He got so excited because we were playing, and I was. Playing. He gets a little overstimulated. He did just like a little kid, just yeah. like a little or a puppy. He yeah. He got a little a little overly excited, so they they had him go back into his. Uh, okay, Stanley, yeah, you're getting a little too. To go back in your crate now. <laughs> And then they put him back in his little house. It was so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, my mic apparently is not in the right location. How's that? Are we better this way? Bueller, Bueller. Let me know if we're better. And I think um, a lot of you let me know that you liked the uh, Draw Everything Every Day video I posted yesterday. Yeah. So I will try to do one every day if I can. Yay, Don is going live. Is Scott going to be the MC on the mic? He is indeed. He agreed to read the questions. Will you do? Oh, you guys are so funny. Um, I think I'll draw with you guys feeling the inspiration. That's Cammy oh, that's Cammy. Great. Today I waited for an event at school for six hours after an exam and then nobody showed up. I'm so tired. Oh, oh I hate it when that happens. Oh, Emma's here. Hey, Emma. 
And we, uh, let's see, Raya says, if you could own any animals without consequences, what animal would you guys get? <laughs> Red panda. Cheetah. Although I will tell you, this is funny. So the Nashville Zoo posted a picture yesterday or the day before of a cougar. And they called the cougar's paws murder mittens. Murder mittens. So yeah. now I want a cougar because they have murder mittens. So I love them. They Already always a cougar though. They always look at you when you uh, cute. You're very funny. They always look at you when you walk by, like they're gonna eat you. And the boys would always, when they were little, they'd always say, "Mom, they're staring at us." And I'm like, "Yeah, you look like lunch. Actually, you're too small to be lunch. You look like a snack." And then when they got really tall, I was like, "Yeah, you look like dinner now. Remember when you looked like a snack? Now you look like dinner." <laughs> I did too. I'm a horrible mom, huh? Can you please review the Camlin Artist Watercolor Set from India? Okay, I have that on my list, actually. Surprisingly, it is on here. Can we get it? Um, I will try. I have tried to get a few other things, and we have not had much luck, but I will try to get that. I haven't actually um, reached out on a couple things in a while. What breed is your dog? Um, they think she's a beagle and a Jack Russell, but she's a mix. She's a she's a rescue. So, which is our favorite breed? Rescue. Um, Fox Sandwich is drawing a dragon right now. Can't wait nice. to see how your drawing turns out. The thumbnail tricked me into thinking it was kiss related. Is it? Oh, did it not update? Did it not the... update the thumbnail? Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god, let me. That's look. just wrong. That's no good. We changed the picture, changed you guys. It. Oh my God, that's so funny. I'm sorry. Let me look on my phone really quick and see if, uh... yep, painting a rhinoceros horn bill and kiss comes up. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll fix it later. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. That's funny. Hey, Ellen's here. Good morning. Hey, Ellen. Scott, have you heard of the Songbirds Museum in Chattanooga? It looks fun to visit. Uh, no, I haven't. We we've, haven't heard of that. We've been to Chattanooga. The Songbirds times. Museum. I don't know what that is. Let me uh, let me take some notes this morning. Let me let me turn the page and take some notes. So I'm finding it interesting that I have new notebooks that I'm I've been using, but I didn't think they would work with my fountain pens. And lo and behold, they do. <gasps> I know. Which just gives it's me a Christmas miracle. I, which gives me more uh, excuse to just break out the fountain pen instead of a, the uh, the old ballpoint pen. I will still probably always have the ballpoint pen in my purse just because I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little nervous to travel with the fountain pen. But uh, yeah, I think on the desk, the only thing I'm going to write with is a fountain pen from now on because they're just so darn fun to write with. So... Um, I'm starting out drawing. Do you have any tips? Dill yes. pickle. Draw everything every day. See the longer video I posted mm -hmm. yesterday. And follow along. There you go. Um, Absol says, I hope everyone is doing all right today. Oh, that's so nice of you to We are say doing that. great this morning. Fresh Lemonade says, have you ever, Scott, have you ever visited a famous museum like the Louvre? I would love to see a video about it. Oh, we did. that's we, a great idea. Yeah, we did. And there is a video mm -hmm. on it. There is? Um, yeah, yeah. I from don't remember that. A couple of years ago, but yeah. yeah. Um, I'll try to find it and revive it yeah. if uh, it's not on YouTube. You know what? It might not be on YouTube. It might have been when you were posting in... Uh... TikTok. More on TikTok, yeah. Have you ever tried chalk pastels? I have. Um, I, I, I think I took, I don't know if I took a whole class on it, but it was at least part of a class in college. And I really liked them. My uncle Dave was a brilliant Ugh. pastel yeah. uh, artist. Yeah, his uncle Dave was a, um, he comes from a long line of artists, but uncle Dave did some beautiful portraits beautiful portraits how do you come up with what to draw willa says i get stuck with that so does uh, scott yeah i mean it, it's <laughs> this was a trip uh so what i do is i try to go places so mm -hmm. i will go to the zoo um or i'll just draw the beetles or we went to disney world for our anniversary yep. 
uh, this is an old tractor in Leaper's Fork, mm-hmm. and my friends. Um, oh, service dog. Service dog. Oh thank God. you. Back to the zoo. Yeah. Um, f- this was actually a sculpture that I just painted and then added color to it. Uh, but um, you know what you what you do as an artist is you start to look at the world around you and you start to see the art in it, and um, and I think that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Um, please do a tutorial on portraits, a long video. Long video. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um, I want to ask that like is a fountain pen for drawing and inking and writing are different or just the same because in our school it's mandatory to use a fountain pen for works. So maybe I can try inking with them. So I use a fountain pen for writing only. But you can use a fountain pen for drawing, and you can also use a glass dip pen for drawing. And I'm trying to get Scott to do a glass dip pen for drawing um, to try that because I know a lot of you want to see him draw with a glass dip pen. And basically, it's just exactly what it sounds like. It's a pen made of glass, and you dip it in ink, and you either write or draw with it. Hey, David's here this morning. Hey, David. Good morning, friend. All right, so I'm pulling out the medium-sized one. This is extra fine. This is the medium-sized one because I'm trying to fill in more area. Mm-hmm. What do you think of oil paints? Ooh. Um, I'm not a fan uh, because I don't want to spend six years on a painting. But our friend Bethany, who is one of the mods here, yep is really good at it yeah and she's amazing yeah if you have questions please hit bethany up for oil painting questions um Haley angel sent you a tip oh thank you Haley says, angel. you're a creator who helped me get back into painting and i haven't stopped since october of 2022 oh that's great i stopped painting because i went through a lot of abuse i paint the skies i'm free again thank oh, you that oh that's so wonderful Haley. to say that's wonderful. I'm so glad that was helpful for Art you. Art is my escape, too. That's why he's down here all the time and I never see him. Yep. I'm a stranger. Um, okay. Hey, Scott. Would doing this help me with my college portfolio? I'm majoring in animation. Doing what? Doing journaling? Um, yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think uh, they're going to be looking for something like that in animation but i mean Mm-mm. journaling could never hurt storytelling that's what i'm saying depends on what part of if it's animation yeah. like 3d animation or 2d animation mm-hmm. the thing that's going to help you the most is acting mm-hmm. you know you you're you you're gonna have to learn uh and study acting and human behavior but if you're doing storyboards or character designs those are different things yeah um let's see Uh, let's see we asked you that one already hello from middle school all right so i am just so you guys know what i'm dealing with right now oh how funny um eo thorne says i built up a huge rig to hold my burger projector using 3d printer scaffolding wow does your burger move around a lot when doing work with it um, it jiggles sometimes just from the movement of the table, mm-hmm. but um, no, it's, it's, I don't know if you can see it. This is it right here. It's just on this little $14 or $19 rig, which I think we have in our store. So yeah, do we have just, a link to that? Maybe? It can go up and down and move and then I just mm-hmm. pose it. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's in there. But it's it's um, that's that's what I use. Let's see. I have a small. All right. Day. So Sorry. what I'm doing right now is, so you see, this part was all black. There's no light hitting it. There was just a little bit of light there, which I have there, and I'm looking at this. This is obviously going to be a lot of Payne's gray, but I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do to give it because I don't want it to look like hair. So I want to make sure that it has those like little U shapes. Bethany to look confirms. Like, I'm sorry that the mount is in the supply list. Okay, good. To make it look like feathers. So right now I'm just 
I'm going, I'm either going to hit it or miss it. Either it's going to look good or it's not. But just letting you know, that's what's going through my head right now is, you know, I, 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 I don't draw birds that often. Mm -mm. And so for if me, ever. it's not, it's not like uh, drawing people mm -hmm. and, and whatnot, where I have a lot of experience. Wumi and, says use a dry brush for the birds. Oh yeah, that could work too. Uh, Deanna, there's a, quite a few of you who have snow days today. Yeah, there was a big off, snowstorm in the north. Yeah, or our, um, well, um, our son just went into class. It was 40 degrees and sunny, came out of class, and it's snowing, and he's supposed to have six inches today. Wow. Yeah. So that was, he texted me during my meeting, which was cute. Um, okay. So I've missed a couple of comments. Let me go backwards. Let me read some things real quick. Good luck, Scott. I believe in you. Draw those feathers. <laughs> Thanks. Do you think when someone starts in painting, he is an artist or not? Uh, I think if you if you create something, you're an artist. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what it is. You, it could be woodworking. Mm -hmm. It could be writing. It could be music. Mm -hmm. It could be, doesn't matter. It's art. Mm -hmm. Now, whether you want to call yourself an artist or not, that is completely up to you. Mm -hmm. But um, there are no rules of engagement. There are no laws that say what defines an artist. And what doesn't you can call yourself an artist if that is what you want to be um georgia sent you a tip and said you're my biggest inspiration in art you're thank so you sweet. very much georgia um okay so i am at the bottom of the comments right now because there are so many of you and they're all just to keep populating so i'm going to start at the bottom i'm going to work my way back a little bit but if i missed your comment or your question please put it in again and i apologize um Let's see. Some people are having 70, 80, 90 degrees, and some people are having minus 26. I don't know where you are, timed wow. potato, but that's awfully cold. That is awfully cold. Um, people are going to doodle while they're listening to you. Learning about your autism made me happy, as you are my favorite content creator of all time, and I'm autistic too. Also, nice feathers. Oh, thank you. Um, I've been watching you for a while now, looking at your art and using watercolor motivated me to use it today, again, after many years. Thank you. Oh, that's you. great. Hey, Scott, thanks for being so encouraging and making art, embracing mistakes, and enjoying the process. You really inspired me to pick up the brush, pen, and pencil. Oh, fantastic. I know. It's showing the kiss thumbnail. It didn't update this morning. Sorry about that. Um, do you like Bon Jovi? Oh, yeah. Hello. Scott's love is like bad medicine. <laughs> you should do a series where you paint subscribers. Oh, we have done that so many times. Scott, sir, your art and motivation to make art every day is what keeps me going. You're my idol. Oh, thank you. Ooh, Octocat, it's 10 degrees for them. Wow, that's cold. Um, there is a video on Scott, how Scott found his art style. It's called My Art is a Mosaic, and it is in the Art Hacks playlist. And it's okay if you haven't found your style. Um, how do you draw front-facing heads? Uh... There's a couple of videos on that. Um, Art Hacks Playlist. Could you give me a not too easy and crazy drawing idea? Oh my gosh, Red Panda. Draw a Red Panda, Shazia. Red Panda. Well, and again, yesterday I did a video where we drew... Uh, an apple. An apple. Mm -hmm. So you have two but, red things that you can draw. But they wanted something that was not too easy. So I would say a Red Panda. Hey, Ryan's here and says, good morning. Hello, Ryan. How are you? How's your new school and your new classes? Why do you use purple colored pencil when sketching? I like the look of it. That's all. Do you like Transformers? Me and my friends love it. I never got into Transformers. My friend uh, wrote the, the you know for the TV show, but um, it was past my time. I think I was maybe in my late teens, early 20s at the time. Um, let's see. Bjorn says, please inform Donna that it is February break, so everyone is off of school this week. Consider me informed. Oh. Um, have you done pastel pencils? Uh, yes. I'm playing the piano and getting into drawing. You're my biggest motivation even when I'm busy. Oh, thank you. What's your favorite song? Future Love Paradise by Seal. Why are you holding the pen so far from the head? Is it to avoid smudging? No, no, no. I think some some days I just um, uh, hold it farther away. I think a lot of it has to do with this. So 
So I can't rest my hand on this, it's uncomfortable. So I'm resting it over here. And so I'm just kind of, it, it, a lot of it just has to do with what feels comfortable and resting my hand on the spiral um, isn't very comfortable for me. Now, mind you, I did that mm -hmm. subconsciously. So when you asked me the question, I had to ask myself, why am I doing it? So it wasn't conscious. Yeah, it's it's a lot of just like, oh, why do I do this? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, okay. I just, I was doing it and then you asked and I was like, huh, I didn't realize <laughs> I was doing it. It's the same thing as the, the twirling of the pen. I didn't realize I was doing it until you, you guys all pointed it out. have done that for 35 years. I used to do that with your pencils too. Yeah. Helly Angel sends you a little tip and says, I've seen He-Man, but thoughts on Transformers. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, I, I think the Transformers, I think I would have totally loved them uh, when I was a kid. Uh, I had Micronauts and I had Shogun Warriors. I love robot stuff. Um, he does. Yeah. But uh, like I said, it just was like that and and the, the G.I. Joe cartoon um, were... Oh, Yeah. You know, we're after my time. You know, I would see it, but I just, I was getting into stuff like Dragon Ball Z at the time. And, you know, I was into rock and roll music and, mm -hmm. and including Bon Jovi. I'm actually wearing a Def Leppard shirt right now. Um, I had to wear something nice this morning. Yeah. It's so funny. You can do Zoom meetings and look nice from the waist up. And then you can be in sweatpants and socks and comfy slippers. I love that. And then I feel like I'm getting away with something. You because are. <laughs> I'm like, I'm business on the top and I'm comfy on the bottom. It's, it's like clothing. It's like a mullet with clothing's mullet. Yeah, it is. It's clothing's. Exactly. Okay. Um, Ryan's new school is going really well, which is fantastic. Good. Um, it's 30 degrees in Kolkata, India. Wow. Me and my brother watch Transformers. We even wrote a story about it. Have a wonderful day. Must run and work all. Oh, have a great love day. Love from the Rocky Mountains in Canada. Well, we love you too. Let's see. I'm only one person and I can only see mm. so many things, but I will look for it. Do you have any good 80s songs recommendations? I'm trying to find some new songs to listen to because I mostly listen to music from the 60s and 70s. Oh, um, well, it depends on what kind of music that you mm. like. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is um, a playlist. Yeah, our Spotify, Spotify playlist, playlist. Uh, that we used on, to be able on to our do. website. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Bethany, if you can link the link it here in the, in the thing, but you, there's a ton of really good, um, yeah. good music. Eighty songs. Yeah, yeah. It's so many. Do you believe that modeling is a form of art? I'm finishing a Hobbit hole model as I watch this. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you meant like like Derek Zoolander kind of modeling. <laughs> Um, absolutely it is. New steel. Um, let's see. Can you give me something colorful to draw? And another question, if you stop a drawing and put it on hold, what do you do when you see it is not finished? Oh boy. Um, I, it depends on why I stopped it. If I stopped it because I wasn't happy with it, then I'll just walk away and never touch it again. Yeah. If it's in the corner of shame, it usually never leaves the corner of shame. Yeah. Oh, she was able to link it. Thanks, Bethany. You guys really inspire me. Your videos are so fun to watch. I subscribed right away. That's Dill Pickle. Oh, pickled. thank you. Have you seen the animated version of The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings from the 70s? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I actually have uh, a cell of one of the, um, I was going to say Dementors, one of the uh, Nazgul. Santa says, don't show that video to Arwen. She'll get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing. Derek Zoolander. You're funny. Let's see. Um... I don't think that what I'm doing right now really helped. So I'm going to stop. What can I use to outline my art when I color with alcohol markers? Uh, you can use alcohol markers to outline it if you'd like. Um, just a black mm -hmm. alcohol marker is yeah. good, especially if you have the brush tips. Do colored pencils work well with markers? You did do that. And it did work well, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can try to outline with colored pencils too if you want. <laughs> Nixia says, Dementors, Nazgul, tomato, potato. Yeah. <laughs> tomato, potato. She's so funny. Dill Pickle says, is, good morning to all the mods and everyone. Can we just do a little, I'm going to do a little shout out. Can we? I'm going to do whatever I want because I'm on the mic. And I'm going to tell you guys how much we love our mods. They are such wonderful people. I wish you could know them like we know them and just laugh with them and joke with them. They're wonderful people. And we appreciate all of them and all of their help so much. Um... 
so much. We love you guys. I think, um, I think, I think I'm going to add one more line here. Do you take breaks from drawing and painting while working, or do you just sit through the whole work of art? Nikki wants I, to know. I take lots of breaks. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'll draw for maybe 20 minutes and then get bored. Mm -hmm. And then draw for 20 minutes and then get bored. And um, mm -hmm. hold on, I'm missing, what are you missing the pencil I was using. Is there a black pencil there? No. Not not that that I is can see. It? Nope. There's a lot of wrappers for atomic fireballs, but I don't see any black pencil. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, got good. buried underneath the. Uh, not my fault. I, I didn't do it. Then. To do one Have you ever one. gone through a phase where you just completely stopped drawing or making art? Ah, Sophia oh, yeah. Raquel. Ten, ten years. Mm -hmm. Ten long years. Mm -hmm. I, I was. Um, they were longer just not, for us. It's just not happy with my colored pencil work. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just did 3D animation and I made a web comic. And um, actually, no, this was before I did the web comic, I think. Was but, it? No. Well, no. No, no you're it? right. It was during the, yeah, yeah. the web comic as yeah. well as doing the Dreamland Chronicles. Yeah. Well, you know, which might have been another reason why you stopped because you were putting so much creative effort into that. We were just having this conversation last night. Scott is trying to find a hobby outside of something artistic to do. And what I realized is I do artistic things as a hobby, like, you know, journaling and painting and knitting, whatever. But he's trying to find something that isn't creative to do to give yeah. himself a break from the creative. And so if you guys have any suggestions, we will gladly take them because uh, it's interesting. You can't just pour yourself into creative all the time. Um, what marker would you recommend for frog DOS frogs? Oh, oh, okay. So frog DOS frogs mm -hmm. isn't the Is type that, of marker. That's it's, their that's name. That's the name of the person. That's okay, the name okay. of the person. I was like, I've never heard of that brand. Um, I like the Artex, A-R-R-T-X, it's, it's, uh... No, it's A-R-T-X-X. -X. No, A-R-R-T-X. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I like the Artex ones because they're cheap. Mm -hmm. You can get 80 of them for $25, mm -hmm. and they got brush tips, and mm -hmm. I and think those are And you love a good really brush good. tip? Mm hmm The Ohuhu ones you liked as well, didn't oh, you? Oh, the Ohuhu's are great. They're yeah. just expensive. They're a little more expensive. Yeah. Richard and... says, hello, you all from soon-to-be icy Wisconsin. Oh. Hey, I know it's all coming in, huh? Um, I don't have a stream lag, so I'm sorry about that. If you do, it's rainy in Ohio and I have a headache. Reading and cleaning my palette today. Oh, I'm sorry, Kate. I do not like headaches. I had them for years. And uh, would you travel to Cambodia and draw the temple? Yes. Yeah, give we me would. A chance to. You know, it's so interesting. I there are so many places on this planet that are so beautiful that we just haven't had a chance to see. We just haven't yeah. had a chance. I mean, you know, travel is a luxury. It is indeed. And, and so to say that, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm envious of both people who can afford to travel mm -hmm. and, and also, travel yeah, and people who travel well. Mm -hmm. um, I don't travel well. He doesn't. And, uh, well, but in your defense, travel used to be, okay, so let's let's go back. When Scott and I, like pre-9-11, travel was fun. You could walk people all the way to the gate. You yeah, could wave and say goodbye. Me travel, it but. wasn't, but it was, it just seemed easier to travel. And now travel seems very stressful. The seats on the plane are smaller and they're taking away like yeah. meal service and they throw things at you like peanuts. And it's like, it's just, travel just seems harder. So you have to, if you're gonna travel, for well, first of all, you have to have the money to travel. And second of all, you kind of have to make it more comfortable for yourself. Yeah. Like what you did with the headphones and you bring a little sketchbook and you always have something to eat. And I, you know, I have books on my phone and, you know, things like that, that you, you know, to make your travel more comfortable. Yeah. 
Um, have you tried drawing directly with a ballpoint pen? Like no sketch beforehand or anything, just straight up with a pen. Yep, there's a video on that. Mm -hmm. um, I yep. draw Captain Jack Sparrow. Mm -hmm. Yep. I love drawing like that. It's really fun. I got my admission to UAL London. Hey, congratulations. That's awesome. You have inspired me to draw more often. And those feathers are really good. <laughs> Watching your videos while I paint makes me feel like I have a buddy to do art with. I love your you content. You do. Oh, that's You have so a sweet. buddy. And that buddy is me. I gave up on hard pants after the first lockdown. Hard pants are evil. Tracy, oh my God, you and I would be besties. I don't like pants. I don't. I like sweatpants, but I don't like pant pants. And God help me when I have to put on dress pants again. Oh, Lord have mercy. I think I'm going to just boycott those. Have you ever tried a glass pen? Um, I don't think so. Donna likes mm -hmm. them. I love them for trying different inks. I don't like them. I mean, I'll write with them, but I really love writing with a fountain pen. Um, let's see. My art is sewing and fashion, and you inspired me to take myself more serious with it. Oh, I love it. That's great. I would love to see what you sew. I'm always in awe of people who can sew things, and they just are the most beautiful things. When you did the painting of Gerard Way, you asked for our favorite songs. How many did you listen to, and were there any you recognized? Um, oh, that's Battle Brooks. Hey, Emmett. <laughs> Sorry. The only one I recognized was the teenagers one. And that was just because of the TikTok trend. But I did try listening to him, but I, like I said, that was the only one that, that I had actually heard of before. Let's see. Best Zoolander voice. What is this? A hobbit hole for ants? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a little snort there. Um, I have my grade 10 board exams in six days and I'm here, LOL. Oh. I'm sure you will do just fine. Sometimes you need a break in between studying. But then get back to it. There's the mother in me. Scott, you've inspired me to draw more often. Um, favorite movie slash TV show? Favorite movie would be uh, The Princess Bride. Favorite slash TV show would be The West Wing, Avatar, The Last Airbender, mm -hmm. Law and Order. Kill more girls. Or um, Justified. Yeah, David, sorry. The picture is Kiss. We know. It's <laughs> that bird is the big. You know, he's not really that big. He's probably... I think he had a four foot wingspan. He had a four and a half foot wingspan and he's he's fully grown. But I would say probably from beak to the tail feathers, he's maybe, maybe 24 inches. But his wingspan is ridiculous. Like his wings are so, but they're beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Um, they want you to do the Rolling Stones. I did do Mick Jagger in the stone paper. Have you ever tried embroidery? I don't think so. I've tried embroidery. It wasn't for me. Do you know? Okay, funny story. I don't know if you guys find funny things out about your parents. But my mom, one day I'm having a conversation with my mom and she's like, yeah, you know, your grandmother used to do embroidery and she had me doing that when I was a kid and my chin hit the floor. Yes. And I said, what do you mean you did embroidery? She says, oh yeah, grandma had me doing embroidery, blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm 50 years old. You never told me you ever did anything. I never saw my mother in all my years growing up ever do anything craft related. Mm -hmm. Unless it was getting the box of crayons out and putting us at the kitchen counter with crayons and a coloring book. I swear to you guys, never. And I was like stunned. Anyway. That's pretty cool. Note. And it's just crazy. Um, do you think you'll do something similar to the hair journal again? Oh. I'd like to. I'd like to. Sorry, I'm trying to. So let me show you guys. the. Um, can you guys see uh, Stan Lee's? Let's see, let, me, let me do this. What? He has like little bell bottoms. Little oh, bell bottoms. I don't know if you can see it in these. There. Oh, there it is. 
Yeah, he looks like and he's I, got little pants it. on. Little yeah, pants on. Yeah, he's got like these cool little bell bottoms. Yeah. And so I wanted to draw that. I'm not I don't think that's really kind of getting it across. So I might redraw this. Oh, I love the ball. Look at the ball. You did that one. I love that. That's so cute. Yeah, it, I don't understand how you can catch a ball. It's crazy. Um, yes, we have tried bird watching. We have a very active uh, backyard. Uh, we have had raccoons, foxes. Um, we have had, um, God, I mean, yeah. Deer, Deer turtles. bunny rabbits. Tur oh God, yeah, we had, we had the cutest little turtles. We have this one little guy when we were first, first moved here and we had him mow the backyard and Scott took a chunk out of the top of his shell. Well, the boys insisted on nurturing him back to health. So we had him in a box and giving him stuff and everything. Well, that little guy still lives in our backyard. And from time to time, you can see, and he's bigger now. He used to be little, he's bigger now. And we'll find him and he's got that little chunk out of the top of his shell. And we'll look at him and we'll be like, hey buddy, it's you. <laughs> it's cute. Yes, the bird's name is Stanley. Um, you can watch Animal Crackers on Netflix. Have you tried watercolor oil pastels? I don't even know what that is. Watercolor oil pastels? Yeah. I, that Water just, and oil don't that's mix. That's a lot of... So I don't know how that would work. What's your favorite art period? Um, Romantic period, I think. Pre-Raphaelite. Mm -hmm. Scott, let's see. I don't know who that is. Um, let's see. Yep, he's a bird. Would you consider having a pet parrot? No. I don't think so, no. Not really. I there understand. Got enough noise in this house. I understand why. <laughs> That's all me, by the way. Um, I understand why animals are in the zoo, but I don't like to keep birds. I, I think they should be flying around free. It bothers me. But these guys are, um, they're threatened. They're not endangered yet, they're threatened. Um, but the zoo has done an amazing species survival plan. I don't know if you guys know about the species survival plan. So zoos across the world share, um, they share, um, they have a, a database that has DNA from all the animals in all of the zoos. And they put animals together so they can create a strong bloodline for animals that are endangered, like the rhinoceros. I know you guys have heard that the rhinoceros, um, I think it's the northern white rhinos are extinct now. Um, and except everywhere except in the in the zoos. And so what they do is they breed these animals through the strong bloodlines to keep them going. And then they keep them in zoos. And the reason is they keep them so that people can know these are animals that have been lost in the wild to help show, guys, we need to work on our conservation efforts. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I went off on a tangent, but there you go. How many times do I go off on tangents in these lives? I just zone out. Yeah, he does. He zones out. Um, I don't have Netflix. I spend my money on art supplies. That's okay. You're allowed. Can you help me name an animal in the game I'm playing? It's a boy phoenix, and I can't think of one. That was a question for you, dear. Um, Ignatius. Um, sunny or rainy weather, honey? All right. I'm looking up hornbill feet. He is. He's over there Googling hornbill feet. Okay. So let me... I think it would be really cool if you painted pink in honor of her new album. Duly noted. What's your advice on life as an artist? Oh, boy. Um, it is both challenging and fulfilling. Um, challenging because it's really hard to make a living. Mm -hmm. And fulfilling because you are creating something where there's nothing. Um, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if this is the best thing to do. I just don't know if I'm able to capture what I'm trying to. <sighs> um, Mortify says, "Do you have any tips for drawing faces for comics?" I'm 14 and I recently got into art again, and this time I'm trying to draw full-page heroes and possibly commissions if I can. Get the book "How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way." There's mm -hmm. a link on my page that'll help you better than anything around 
Um, all right, so um, the thing is, is that's kind of cool, is they're kind of like these cool bell bottoms, right? See. Which is really cool. But I don't know what to do about the feet. Okay, so I don't think Scott's ever going to try oil pastels again. He might. He's been doing art since he was six years old. Um, so this is a square. Scott has so many favorite artists, you guys. Um, I can't really name them all. Um, he said Ignatius, um, Illy forever. Um, thank you, Scott. Keep doing what you're doing. Do you have any tips for a small YouTube channel on art? I've been trying to make some videos on my phone. Um, yeah, draw what you like. And um, if you're trying to grow it, you're going to have to post every day mm -hmm. or, you know, or at least five times a week. That's the hard part. If it weren't for Scott drawing, Googling rhinoceros hornbill bird feet would be in another level of what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> Nathaniel, that's funny. Uh, see, it's just, it's it, it, visually, it's just not clicking. Like in my head, I'm like, mm. I, I can see this, this really cool bell bottom shape, but it'd be cool if there was like a boot here, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. that, like that's what it feels like. Okay. But the claws just ruin it. Stupid hornbills. Um, okay, Shazia T. Um, Scott's got so many sketchbooks. I, I don't even. We can't even. Yeah, too many. Um, let's see. Um, Scott does prefer audiobooks when he listens to them. They're just easier. He'll he'll paint while he's listening to an audiobook. I like actual books, but I will read anything I can get my hands on. I will read online. I will read. Don't say actual books. Just say physical books. Sorry. What do you mean? This is like saying that my audio books are not real books. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. But so I, condescending, I you prefer, book snob, you. I prefer physical books, although I will tell you. I prefer real books. Stop. Not those. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me I'm trying here. So I've been up. I had a meeting before the live. My brain isn't all working. I really do. Um, Scott's favorite book is The Hobbit and mine is anything Jane Austen but preferably Pride and Prejudice because it's just an amazing commentary on life um, you know consistency has been Scott's favorite thing too like it's been something that's really helped is consistency with being online um, let's see. David Ruiz sent you a very nice tip. Oh, thank you. Um, and the question for me is cartographer, book author, Cobble or Shepherd? I don't know a hundred percent what you're asking. Who's the, the book, the author, the uh, cartographer series? Oh, or? oh, oh. Peng Shepherd. P-E-N-G. Shepherd. Peng Shepherd. And is the cartographers. That is the book. The cartographers. And it was amazing. It was so, I read it on, where did I read it? Oh no, I listened to it. Oh. It was on Scribd. Was it a real book then? Well, for me, it's a real book. For uh. you, not so much a real book. But um, yeah, but for me it was, because I really do read. Um, so this is it. Let me put this in the stream really fast. While Scott figures this out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It? I don't know if you can see it. That's the book. And it was so good on audio that I actually bought a physical copy of it. Like, that's where we're at, people. It was so good, I had to actually own it. Super good. Um, let's see. Where are we? What dog breed do you like? I love husky dogs. I don't know. We have a friend who has a husky. And I have never in my life seen somebody who has to vacuum more than yeah. they do. That yeah. dog sheds so much. It's crazy. Um, anyway. We like rescues. Yeah, I'm a rescue girl. Um, Arwen's a rescue. And I swear they are so grateful that they, it's like they know, you know. Um, what do you like to draw, honey? Um, pretty much everything, except for hands. 
He likes to draw hair. That's his favorite. Yeah. How many years have you been drawing and what inspired you to draw? Um, I've been drawing 40 something years and Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Dill Pickle. Where can I get the art supplies you guys have? Okay, so if you go to ssavaart.com and you go to our supply list, and if one of the mods could put that in, that would be great. We list everything there. There's two lists. One is Scott's art supplies. That's everything he uses. Um, if we have a discount code for um, the any of the supplies, it'll be there. Also, um, there's a resources on the resources page. There's products we've tried. And you can see all of that stuff there. Um, I have read Percy Jackson. I don't think you did. No. Boys did. Um, thanks, Emma. Um, love your art. Have you drawn any dogs? Oh, my God. He's drawn Thank so you. many dogs. Yeah. yeah. I drew a dog while we mm -hmm. were in Italy, even. Yeah. Oh, my God. The cutest little puppy in this tiny little shop kept coming out with yeah, a actually, ball in its mouth. Actually, yeah. um, there's one in this sketchbook, too. Yep. God, you, we always find animals no matter where we go to. Like yeah. when we went to um, Seaside and and Dewey, oh, the puppy right. Dewey yeah, was there. Dewey yep. too. Have you ever drawn Marilyn Monroe? That's a good question. Have you? I have. Um, Why do I not I think it that? might be on my um, Deviant Art page. Mm. I, it's not a very good one. She wound up looking a little more like Hillary Clinton than she did um, <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. So. <laughs> I don't know if that's saying something bad about Marilyn Monroe or something good about Hillary Clinton. It, it just it, sometimes they don't look like who you're intending them to look like. Um, that's fine. If you like comic books, what comics would you recommend for fighting references? There are some online, but something about it being on a page seems so much better. Um, the best storyteller uh, is John Buscema, or was John Buscema, and he's the one who, who wrote how to draw comics or illustrated mm -hmm. uh, how to draw comics the Marvel way. So I would say uh, for me, pick up any books from him. Um, I used to love Conan. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have all the Conans now. I have every single mm -hmm. episode, he every does. single issue. Yeah. Um, what's the most difficult art piece you've ever done? Probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. Mm -hmm. I am personally a fan of audio books, says the Quirky Giraffe. The Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson is really good. Is it, um, what what genre is it? I'm curious. I would say fantasy. You think? Yeah, Mistborn kind of sounds very fantasy, huh? Especially if it's born B-O-U-R-N-E. It's not. M-I-S-T-B-O-R-N. Hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see. Would you ever draw a monster? Oh, are you going to do Ink Monsters on Thursday? Yep, tomorrow. He is doing Ink Monsters tomorrow with Kim Diaz Home. At 8 a.m. Central Time, is that what we're doing? Yep. Yeah. An hour that, an hour earlier than what we usually yeah. start. Yeah, yeah. Just because Kim's over in... Norway. Norway, thank you. Um, let's see. Um, you had to estimate how much all the... I'm not going there. We have spent thousands and thousands and thousands thousands of dollars over the years on art supplies and i, I mean just if you do the same it. thing about if you had to estimate how much you've spent on you know food or coffee or gas or so, it's it turns into hey thousands don't of you dollars. talk about my coffee addiction no i'm saying but if you take something <laughs> that is a for me this is a yeah daily you, and you use, use it thing. all exactly yeah. you use it all you yeah. know how much have you spent on yeah. you know music over the years it always is a big number that's true and so that's all i'm saying is it yeah. does sound like oh my god you spent tens of thousands yeah. of dollars not all at once it was over 40 years yeah. so you know maybe a hundred dollars yeah. a, a year no you know? more than that more than whatever that. but i'm yeah. just saying you know um my favorite screen version of pride and prejudice is the bbc yep the bbc version and fight me that's it um, let's see. Uh, Letter Lady Z says, I love audiobooks as a mom to young kids. Also, paper and ebooks. All kinds of books are my favorite. Okay, so yes. And I am so happy that you are reading to and with your kids. Um, my boys to this day love to read, and they're 20 years old. Love to read. And I like to think that I had a little something to do with that over the years. And I actually tell them now, like, you know, occasionally, um, they'll ask me what I'm reading 
Mm. Occasionally they'll say, hey, mom, have you read anything good lately? They'll actually ask me, which is really funny, nice. you know? Yeah, it is. It's cute. We and, and when they were in high school, we used to talk about authors um, that they would read and books that they would read. And um, it's a really great conversation point. Um, so that's pretty cool. Time for some more Windsor Orange. Ooh, Windsor Orange. That reminds me. There's a question uh, that came in about layering colors yeah. in faces that I need you to answer. There's a video on that. Great. Then I need to know which video that is. It's... Um, love your art, Scott. Doing skin tone, I think. Okay. Um, what is your Goodreads? Let's be friends. Oh, I'm... Uh... Oh, shoot. What am I on Goodreads? <laughs> I don't know what I am on Goodreads. I don't know what I am on Goodreads. I don't know. I don't know. Right. I don't I'm know. short on a paintbrush. <clears throat> Heck if I know who this I am on Goodreads. This feels light. Let's see. Who am I on Goodreads? Hold on, I'll bring it up. Um, All right. I feel like I'm missing a paintbrush. Have you ever hired marketing or advertising people? Or is that another thing that artists we need to learn? Uh, um, you do need to learn it. But I, we have yeah. hired. We have friends who do that. We have hired them before. Um, Bethany's so funny. She sends me my own Goodreads link. <laughs> <laughs> This is where we're at, people. This is where we're at. I have zero brain power. <laughs> I don't remember what my good reasons in Bethany sends this to me. <laughs> this is where we're at. Oh, thank you, friend. Love you. Um, oh, my God. That's so funny. I love the line weight on the claws. Oh, you thank guys, you. This is just funny. It, it's um, very sketchy, people, but it's supposed to be. You know? What's your favorite food, honey? Um, it is a an Assyrian dish called sherva. It's like a mm -hmm. stew with uh, with Assyrian yeah. rice. Mm -hmm. Mine is anything I ate in Venice. I'm just saying. Do you have any tips for talking slash physically appearing in videos slash shorts for really anxious people? Oh, that's a great question, Finn Scribbles. Um, yeah, uh, I try to avoid it. But uh, I, I, when I have to, I cut it up into one sentence, one or two sentences, because I can't remember my lines. I'm just not mm -hmm. capable. Uh, when I've had to try to do something, there's an app called um, Teleprompter. It's a free app that mm -hmm. you can use, and um, you can try that. That... Um, you know where, where it basically shows on your screen while it's recording and you're just reading what it says but practice is the best thing for mm -hmm. you you got to practice it um i'm very shy i'm very mm -hmm. uncomfortable i can't remember what i wanted to say um but i just was determined to try to get better at it but you also um put on a nice shirt and a vest and a yeah. hat he dresses to make himself feel confident to get behind the camera. Yeah. It's like cosplay. Yeah. Yeah. He cosplays a grown-up adult. Yep. <laughs> and cosplay is a fully functioning adult. I know the thumbnail is still kiss. We're so sorry. <coughs> Blow dryer. Nixia says, in our house, it does not matter what you spend on hobbies as long as you do not waste it. Oh, yep. Cool. Yeah. Yep. As long as you're doing it, that's all that counts. That's, I always told the boys, like, you don't need any more toys, but if they ever wanted a book, I was on board. Like, I'm like, really, seriously, how many toys do you need? But man, I, you know, um, I love audiobooks, but most of the time I don't like the person reading the book's voice. Oh God, doesn't yeah. that ruin a book for you? I know that ruins it for both of us. Like, but there are some times when you get a good voice oh, that it just, oh, it's wonderful. And I, I have decided for audiobooks, I don't like it when one person does all the voices. Really? I don't like it. Oh, see, I hate, I hate ensemble. I love things. ensemble. I oh, love that. No. I love it. I, there's it feels a, like I'm listening to a radio play. Okay. Really... But 
See, but there's a difference between you and I. There's this great set of Jane Austen books, and it's the radio play. I know I turned Steph nerd onto this. And um, it's wonderful because they do like the clip clopping of the horse's feet, <laughs> and they do the wheels on the carriages, and they do the clink of the teacups. That's no longer an audio book, it's a radio production. Love it. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. It makes me so happy. Like, like it makes me nauseatingly happy. And it's even better when it's got moving pictures and you can see the people. And no, the, no that's a the, TV show. No, I want it in my head. I want to visualize it in my head, but I want all the sound. It makes me so happy. I listened to those for Jane Austen July last year, and I would put them on and I would just grin from ear to ear because I was hearing all the things. I felt like I was having tea with the Bennett family. It was great. I loved it. Oh, anyway, there's Donna's excitement for the day. I think the caffeine's kicking in. Um, do you have a favorite person to draw? And you better say me. Other than my wife. Thank you. Um, I like drawing Alan Rickman as Snape or oh, Ian boy. McKellen as Gandalf or Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. <laughs> Xena's fun to draw, too. Steph Nerd replies and goes, he draws Snape quite a lot, but Donna is number one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm telling you, these people are our friends, and they know us so well. It's hysterical. Um, do you think what you are reading, or are you, or what you are interested in, affects your personality? Um, yeah, the 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 things that you learn, the things that you pick up, the things that you read, the TV shows you watch, the books that you read, the music you listen to, they affect your personality and it becomes a part of who you are. So that, that's why you should always be careful of the things that you read. Look, if you're going to read stuff that's racist, uh, you're going to mm -hmm. become more racist. If you read stuff that's transphobic, you're going to become more transphobic. Um, mm -hmm. That's just how that stuff is. So um, if you read stuff that's more uh, open and accepting and loving, you're going to become more open, accepting, and loving. The information you take in stays with you. Low dryer. Um, okay, so somebody said, have you ever messed up with ink before? Oh, yeah. There's actually mm -hmm. a video in the hair journal <laughs> Yo, playlist where I spilled ink all over you my... Did. Orange. Orange ink. It's still on the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's occasionally when you'll hear uh, the mods and myself talking about uh, having PTSD from when Scott spilled ink. <clears throat> it's it, You'll see it. When he waves bottles of ink over anything, it irritates me. I'm afraid he's going to spill everywhere. Um, do you like dachshunds? I, I think they're so cute with their little tiny Shit. short legs. But do you know what melts my heart? Corgis. Mm. Corgis melt my heart. Um, he has drawn our dog so many times. Um, oh, Eugene says, thank you for sparking my art again. I never oh. thought I'd be doing art again after watching your videos. My pleasure. That's great. Um, let's see. See. Blow dryer. Oh, we have not been to the Sistine Chapel yet. That's on the list of places to go. Although I'm afraid the Sistine Chapel would be exactly like the Louvre for us. The first time we went into the Louvre, we sat there with our mouths just on the floor going, oh my God. And we, every time you turn a corner, there's another masterpiece on the wall. And you're just like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> you just kind of, I remember your face. Um, 
Let's see. I'm going to go get the dog really quick. Ryan um, says hi and wants to know what is the best art supply for beginners? Paper and pencil. Just that's all you need is a paper and pencil. Learning to draw is the most important thing. Yellow is always way too opaque. It always covers up the lines. Sorry, guys. I swear she's like having another, having a little kid all over again. Um, what is your favorite animal or favorite artwork that you drew once? Uh, favorite animal is a cheetah. Favorite artwork that I drew is probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. Mm -hmm. Opinion on microwaves. Well, oh, it's I in the kitchen. Them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I still am. Um, I always wait for the beeps to stop. I don't open it before then because I always remember learning about all the little microwave things that are flying around there and you stick your hand in there. And so I'm always extra careful of it. Um, let's see. How long have you had Arwen and is she a rescue? Yes, she's a rescue. And we got her um, when she was eight months old. So we have had her for... Almost 11 years. Yeah, almost 11 years. She'll be 12 this year. She's an old lady. She's doing really well, though. She was diagnosed with um, heart failure last year. And we have since... which I, And I didn't know. When you take medicine and you stabilize, you actually come out of heart failure. So that's really good. But she's doing great. We walked two and a half miles. Not yesterday, but the day before. Yeah. Yesterday we walked a mile and a half. She's just trucking along out there. Yeah, it's she's crazy. She's doing good. Yeah, she's doing great. Do you have a favorite thing to do when you get out of the Hobbit hole? Oh boy, Blanca, that's We're a good question. We're working on that. Yeah. <laughs> right now I don't, which is why mm -hmm. I don't leave the Hobbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to find a hobby. Um, you should make a series on how to paint. I have a bunch of things. Uh like skin tones and and whatnot but mm -hmm. we'll see i might start making longer videos you'd i loved the apple video yesterday i i know it's just it's a there's so a much dead time know. you know, know. Um, it's so much easier to write for one minute yeah and, than it is for six minutes yeah um scott what's your favorite animal i know donna's is a red panda lol <laughs> my favorite animal is a cheetah <laughs> sorry <laughs> do you have a favorite vacation you have been on or anywhere you really want to go so far our favorite vacation well it wasn't vacation it was mm -hmm. work but it was uh venice mm -hmm. um how expensive was it to make the hobbit hole um it was enough. not not very expensive mm -hmm. because my friends uh yeah they did, did all the work helped, but um, yeah well you did a lot of work too yeah but i mean uh yeah. the materials i would say it was maybe twenty thousand dollars yeah but that's when you have people that are your friends helping you do things. Yeah. So who are who, by the way, are contractors? Okay. Yeah. So that's Blow dryer. full disclosure. I forgot my name says, oh my God, I'm hoping Arwen has a wonderful life, precious pooch. I have a rescue too. He was almost as small as my palm when we got him, but now if I try to pick him up, I feel like I'll fall. Oh, Aww. that's so cute. You know, she's given us the best life. She's been the best dog ever. And we're going to make however much time we have with her as awesome as possible. Nikki says, dogs' lives are at least 20 years too short, in my opinion. Yeah. Nikki same i feel that same same thing um do you think you would ever try to start your own line of art products i know you've partnered with companies before but i think it would be cool if you had your own products um if i did it would have to be products that i that i really that i already use like winsor and newton 
um, like the paints that I'm using now or the zebra brush pens. Mm -hmm. But honestly, um, I don't see a benefit to me or anybody else to do that because you know, I'm more than happy to tell everybody where where I get my art supplies mm -hmm. and where to get them. Um, yeah. I, I I have no interest in being um, a brand. Uh, I'm just me. So, but I'll never say never. Um, I also don't think you have any interest in working on putting stuff together, at least right now. Yeah. Um, let's see. Nathaniel says, my ears are in love with your husband, Donna. You better protect him. <laughs> he does have a sexy voice, doesn't he? I, I don't. You do. You do. You get no say in this. I'm a very boring person. Well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> Sometimes he is boring, I got to tell you. But you do have a sexy voice. Um, let's see. I missed a couple questions. Uh... Why are we painting a hornbill? Because we went to the zoo. We went and we got to visit mm -hmm. uh, a hornbill. His name was Stanley. Yeah. And um, we got to play catch with him. Yeah. He was really, really nice. That's and so really I'm going to cool. put together a video. I just didn't get a chance to do it. And so um, I, I got the pencils done, mm -hmm. but I didn't get a chance to finish the painting. So I'm, I'm, I thought I would use this morning's live to do that. Yeah. It's Watercolor Wednesday. You can paint whatever you want. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. You are indeed. You are indeed. Um, Blow dryer. <laughs> Maybe you can draw a series on trying out new hobbies. <laughs> Scott, Scott's trying, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the, they have we have suggestions of bike riding or rock climbing. They're more individual activities where you are challenging yourself, kind of like art. Um, do you know Valerie Lynn? Doesn't sound familiar. Mm -hmm. Have you tried the Blackwing pencils? They were pencils used by Walt Disney and many other people for drawing. I've tried Blackwing pencils and they're lovely. I know... All my Disney friends love them, mm -hmm. but I, I have not. I think they might be a little buttery for you, actually. What was your favorite cartoon growing up? Uh, Speed Racer. Mm -hmm. I always loved Looney Tunes. Those yeah, were Looney great. Tunes is amazing. They made me laugh. Um, let's see. What is the, in general, thing that makes you comfortable or that keeps you calm? Art. Well, it isn't me. Yeah, it's definitely it you're not the opposite. Me. I am of the calm. I am the anti calm. I'm like, Bleh! yeah. Is there a paint brand you would recommend for someone who has never watercolor painted before? Yeah, I mean, you can get the Grabby set. Mm -hmm. uh, that's you know nice and cheap mm -hmm. uh and comes with everything you need to start yeah the pencil the brush the pen the paper the watercolors everything and if you use our code make sure you use the code in there to get um 15 off so it'll actually be the 25 dollars um we get this question every single live if you could only use one art material for the rest of your life what art material would you use uh paper and pencil I mean, unless I can get like multiple art materials, like what I'm doing right now, which is watercolor, mm -hmm. ball, uh, uh, ink pen, paintbrush, etc. But if it was just one thing. I guess it would just be a pencil. How long does it take you guys to turn the live footage into YouTube Shorts? You can really see all the time and dedication that goes into the channel. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Um, it does about, take time. It sometimes takes as little as two hours and as much as four hours, just mm -hmm. depending on. Um, like if I'm going to go and find a clip of something, you know, to add in, or if I got to scan in like the, the one I did of kiss, I had to find old photos mm -hmm. and scan them in. And, uh, sometimes I'll add like extra stuff or, you know, it, but yeah, it, it's, I, I really love the shorts. I really do. He does put a lot of time and effort into it. And, um, it's. It's very sweet because he always wants to, he, he puts these stories together in his head and he um, he really does put a lot of time into them. So that's really sweet. 
that you notice. Um, he may draw an axolotl. What we're doing with the zoo is the do zoo. Do they have them? Yes, they the do. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the Unseen World. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have done animation. We made a movie called Animal Crackers. It's um, on Netflix. Mm -hmm, it Low is. dryer. What about collecting for a hobby? I know it's kind of low-key, but there's a lot of things you could collect. That's Lula. And Lula has a stone, mineral, or gem collection going. And inadvertently started a mug collection. Haven't we all started a mug collection? <laughs> are, these are great ideas. Thank yeah. you. Um, let's see. Does Scott draw cartoons? Yeah. Yeah. I drew the apple and started sketching while watching your stream. And bam, I filled the page and didn't even realize it. That's Yay! amazing. How do you get motivated in life? Um, I think you kind of have to, uh, you have to pick a direction. You just have mm -hmm. to get moving in a direction mm -hmm. and then just know that you're gonna change directions. Like I started off, I'm gonna be the artist on Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. That was my thing. I wanna that be the artist dream. on Spider-Man, mm -hmm. yeah. And- um, How many years did it take to do that, hun? Took me 30. 15 years. Oh, right. From, from when I from started, when you started yeah. trying. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, but during that time, I got an internship at Sega and I worked in video games. Mm -hmm. And then I went down into work on Star Trek comic books. Mm -hmm. And then I did other video games and then I did movies. animation for, mm -hmm. for movies and then TV. Mm -hmm. And then and then I got to do my, my mm -hmm. dream gig. And then mm -hmm. it was like, OK, I did my dream job. I'm 33 years old. Mm -hmm. Now what? OK, I'm going to try writing books and then writing books became mm -hmm. me directing and writing films and then now mm -hmm. then the pandemic came and then now i'm doing this so mm -hmm. you just got to get moving in a direction mm -hmm. and and then see where it goes don't be afraid of the pivot either yeah don't be afraid if this isn't this working is, for you try, try something, something else, else. Mm -hmm. and you know because you know what this isn't like 70 years ago when our parents and grandparents would get a job and work there for 30 years that's yeah. not how this world works anymore. Yeah. Don't, Corporations don't care about you. They don't. They so could, you don't need mm -mm. to care about them. You no. don't need to show anybody any loyalty. Mm -mm. Um, nope. You do what makes you happy. Correct. What works for you. Yep. Correct. I mean, if you're going to take a job, obviously do it to the best of your ability. Yeah, of course. But, well, I think we but need it's, to it's a, say it's that. But it's a mutual respect, though. If they're not respecting you, you don't owe them respect. And, Correct. And, and it's, a, it's sad because... Again, anytime people can, they are mm -hmm. in in businesses. They yeah. are going to abuse you. Yeah, um, I, I especially in video games. Boy, we would oh, they would expect us to spend the night to sleep there. Yeah, and, they did. Which was know. which was. I'm like, you're married. You have a wife. Yeah. You have like you want to like rest. Yeah. That used to piss me off. Well, I, I was like, I'm sorry, but my, you mm -hmm. know, I was doing video games, but mm -hmm. I wanted to do Spider-Man. So I would go yeah. home and I would work on Spider-Man comic yeah, books. And they hated that. You're not dedicated to this. No, I'm not. You yeah. know? But I'm doing, but you did everything they I got asked my for work done. and more. Yeah. I would always get my work done. During the work day. Yeah. And they just wanted you, you know, 24-7. Yeah. It's like, No. Um, Nikki says, I'm a very boring person, says the man with 300 people watching your every move three times a week. You're so funny. The bird's name was Stanley. Ellen says, I always love sketchbook days. I love your sketchbook days. Fiber and Brimstone is doing has done a series of, um, and you got to go check, check out all of her stuff. She's done this great series on cafes. And she watercolor oh, so paints. Good. And she paints in all these different cafes that are by her house where she lives and they're beautiful and I love them. And I just, I want to go actually one of these days I'm going to, um, I'm going to fly or drive to you and you're going to take me to a cafe and we're going to sit there and I'm going to read or journal and you can paint. <laughs> I claim it. <laughs> I stake my claim. So I might drag Bethany Primrose with me. Road trip. Um, Thank you so much, Scott, for letting us see you do art. Oh, I know it can probably be a little me. nervous. 
I, you said road trip, and I thought, cue the Go-Go's music. <laughs> um, what is your favorite sport? Hockey. Oh, so hockey. Um, how do you draw so well? Practice, practice, practice. Practice and photo reference. Roasted Wolf says, Scott, your voice is very relaxing, but I love watching your videos after I get home from school. Oh, Aww. thank you. Why did you pick an apple to draw from your last video? I just wanted to pick something very simple. I think today's I'm going to do a boot. A boot like you're a in boot. Canada? <laughs> Everything you wanted to learn, a boot drawing today. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bumped. I'm here all week. But I thought, you know, okay, it's a little more challenging. I was going to do a robot, but I thought maybe that's a little bit too Ooh, much of a step. That's a big step. Yeah. yeah. No, don't go that far. Um, right. Catalina says, my wife announces Blender before she turns it on like blow dryer. <laughs> that's fantastic. That's a good wife because blenders are loud. Blow dryer. They are. Emma says, Nate is now now repeating road trip. <laughs> Little guy, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ever drawn characters from a book? Oh yeah. Harry Potter. Yep. Uh, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ellen says, I do love me a coffee shop. You do indeed. And says, yes, cafe tour. Woohoo! Oh my God, could you imagine? We would be like so disgustingly caffeinated. Okay, I don't even know what that was or who that was. Um, Rock Roo sends you a tip and says, I have an idea. A 30-day Overwatch sketchbook. Oh, God. You know, <laughs> my son funny. and I, we actually decided we're like, we're taking a break from this because we were just getting on one bad team after another. And I think we're just... You know, it's 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 always easy to blame the other people on your team, but it's just like I'm not the best, and you know, I it's just it got a little frustrating. So we've been playing WoW, but an Overwatch sketchbook would be fun. Oh, can you go to Cinco Teague for your next trip? I think seeing a page of the travel sketchbook filled with ponies would be cool. I would love that. That would be great. If Where you, is that? Uh. North Carolina? It's one of the islands off of North Carolina, I think. Okay. Yes, the brushes are Etcher Labs brushes. See how awesome our mods are. They're answering all these questions for me that, that I'm totally like having to pass up. Um, um, Kalina, there's a video on Art Block in the Art Hacks playlist. If you could press a button and become a hobbit, feet and all, would you press it? Um... don't know would it include living in hobbiton i don't know if i could yeah. do that like um now if you said an elf <laughs> yes oh my god but only if we live in rivendell my god that was beautiful yeah oh i would love to live in rivendell i don't know the ears would be kind of cool though think of the earrings i could put in those big pointy ears you know yeah they're really pretty um since your dad worked for Atari, where what did he do? Like game design or something else? He was a mechanical engineer. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, could that man dream up stuff, let me tell you. He was so great at that. What grade of paper is that in the sketchbook? Is it 90 pound or higher? It is, I think, 100. 140. I thought it was... 140 GSM. Oh, it's off of Virginia. It is, um, yeah, 300 GSM, 140 pound. <clears throat> there you go. And it's 100% cotton. It is the best paper, my favorite paper. You're such a paper snob. I am. Do you think writing and drawing helps people? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's, nothing, down. there's nothing like yeah. creating something when there's nothing. There's mm -hmm. a blank page and then there's something. I'm going to be really honest with you. I used to be afraid, and I think this is what kept me from writing in a journal consistently for years, 
was that I just used to be afraid of the blank page. And um, I'm not afraid of a blank page anymore. I put my favorite pen in my hand and I just put the pen to the paper and I just write. Yeah. And I want to fill the page with my letters and my writing and I love seeing filled pages. It makes me so happy. Yeah, I I I love just scrolling through and scrolling through, turning the page mm-hmm. and looking back on Where you've been. our memories and the mm-hmm. places that we've been and the things yeah. that we've done. Yeah. I think it's great. Yeah. So it's awesome. All right. Well, we are done. I will write this in and I will put together a video and I will draw a boot. A boot. A boot. There you go. So I will try to give you guys two videos today. And then um, we'll see. And we'll see. And then remember tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., so an hour earlier than normal, we will be going live with Kim Diaz Home. And yeah. We'll be making ink monsters. We are making ink monsters tomorrow. We are indeed. Oh my God. Do you want some of my fountain pen inks? I have the prettiest colors. You could try some of those tomorrow. All right, sure. Want to try those? I'll bring some some um, colors down. You know what? Black cherry. You would love the black cherry ink. It's so pretty. Okay. We'll make him do use my uh, inks tomorrow morning. Thank you so much, everybody. And thanks, mods. I really love you guys. I appreciate you so very much. And we are going to sign out. We will see you guys tomorrow morning if you want to join. Bye.